नमस्कार निहाव दिस इज राकेश चौरसिया नमस्कार मैं रूपक कुलकर्णी हिंदुस्तानी शास्त्रीय बांसुरी वादक आई एम बाय प्रोफेशन फ्लोटिस्ट एंड आई प्ले इंडियन बैम्बू फ्लूट एंड आई परफॉर्म क्लासिकल म्यूजिक मुझे बहुत खुशी है कि मैं दोबारा चाइना में आ रहा हूँ चैती आस फेस्टिवल जो कि बहुत ही अच्छा काम कर रही है पूरे चाइना में और विश्व में एंड आई एम रियली एक्साइटेड to visit your beautiful country china at chaiti art festival so hope to see you all there thank you hindustani sangeet ka prachar aur prachar karne mein bahut khushi hai aur aasha karta hu ki aapko bahut jan dobara milenge dhanyawad indian classical music is very much inspired by the nature and uh, we have so many uh, ragas ragas means uh, a set of uh, notes and we uh, there are minimum five notes to seven notes maximum and we uh, play impromptu music nothing is fixed so the basically which we improvise is uh, based on the rag and so we uh, explore the things in the boundary so how much we can explore depends on the uh artists who has worked hard that much or not and um, the main essence is of course nature because uh, our body is inspired by the nature around us so morning uh, our body uh, structure our body or mindset is different in uh, morning afternoon is different so accordingly our raga system has been evolved and we play the ragas according to the time i believe that the main essence of uh, the indian music with especially the classical music uh, we have a time frame where the different ragas has been set and uh, in short i can say it's quite meditative indian music when it comes to indian music which you can feel it basically when uh, i think uh, you just smell the essential oil it's difficult to define but you can feel it it's a if you if you see the signs the seven notes there is a big reason of our seven notes seven notes seven chakras in our system seven layers of uh, sky seven layers of sea so somehow every note has a effect on a system and this is something you one can really enjoy it after listening to it when somebody just close your eyes you can feel the weather we have a monsoon raga we have a daylight raga we have a evening raga we have night ragas early evening raga so there are ragas for every mood depend on what mind frame you are listening to a music but this is something to enjoy cherish and feel it it's not necessary that one knows have to know what is classical music this is something you can feel it like in jazz rock whatever jazz music is quite relative to our indian classical music because it also have a, a chord frame and totally improvisation the same goes with the indian classical music we have just a notes some raga have as rupa bhai mentioned five notes four notes seven notes and then the rag there is a boundary we cannot go out of that but playing the same raga for 5 minutes or for 5 hours it's totally improvisation first let me make clear that rupak bhai is very senior to me not very in in uh, performance and as a musician because when he he was already performing on stage i was in learning process with a small flute that means my hand and fingers were very small Okay. No, but uh, even if I was performing, that doesn't matter. That I I I can't learn more because learning is something different in Indian music. Because jitna ap sikhoge, jitna ap samudra me jaoge, itna pani gehra ho jata hai. So I mean, even Rakesh Bhai was so angry that even we are performing, we think something is missing. We have to learn more. Even now we go to our Guru Ji and learn because he is the legend and. just being with him we learn so many things apart from music many things like some spiritual spiritual things which we cannot explain but when we are with him we get so much energized and uh, uh, if you think that i have achieved i have 
achieve everything in music, then you are finished. So, सीखते रहना ही बहुत 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 अहम चीज है और उसके अलावा कोई दूसरा चारा नहीं है One thing I'll like to mention about the classical music, especially, one is shallow swimming. So no wonder you can swim across the river is fine, but the more you go deeper and deeper, the more you start getting serious into learning, and you want to learn more and more. As you go deeper, the density of water get heavier, and then it get difficult to swim. Then you can become a good swimmer. That doesn't mean that. You stop learning. What I think, maybe I'm wrong, but uh, any course, any course of studies, doctor, and whatever you're doing, there is a closing ceremony. That okay, but this chapter is over now. I have got the certificate. I can now I'm professional. I don't have to open the book again. But in music, it's never ending. The more you do, the more you get very professional. You try to understand more because, as they say, one life is not enough for music. It take, you know, ages and ages one to become a good performer and a good musician. Uh, the the day you think that you are done, you're putting a full stop against your profession. So it's as uh, you know, a lot of musicians say, as uh, Zakir Bai also say that it's his father used to say, it's always good to be a student. Once you become a guru, you're putting a full stop, full stop after your name. So the more you learn, the more you get mature, and the more you get mature, you have the capability of understanding. Because to understand music, and then bring it into your brain, and then execute through your hand and through your blow, or it can be anything. It can be any other instrument or vocal. To understand, we need to know what is music. So the more you get mature, the learning process becomes more difficult and interesting also at the same time. But it totally depends on the uh, musician how you are doing the packaging. Correct. It's not about performing and I will do my way. That's the difference between the young generation. They see the audience, what kind of audience we are expecting, and what to present at that moment. Sometimes I have seen Babu Ji, Pandit Ji, the Sir 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 Guru, that deciding something else in the green room and coming on the stage, looking at the audience and changing, changing the raga or something, whatever needed. So the requirement, because being a musician, we are also a performer. That makes a difference, you know. So what you're going to perform, will they like it? That you can see in the eyes. You know. Sometimes you just start some serious rag, and you see that they are not enjoying. We change the raga. You can make you can make out with the expression. So that a profession, this is his real role. You know, at that moment you are performing for some reason or for some foundation or some festival. So people have an expectation from you that what we are going to get it. If they have some little different expectation, then that's why we sometimes we play a shorter rag. That is not wrong at all. At one time, when before the LP came, long play, there was an EP, and the whole rag was played in three minutes, and it was shown properly. It was focused properly. There was not damaging any raga, not crossing the boundaries. No, in three minutes also, you can prove that depend on the musician to musician. And that is the beauty of Indian classical. Raga that uh, we can play for in three minutes or three hours. Uh, sometimes in uh, Janmashtami we play one rag for six hours, seven hours. So basically, we have to enjoy when playing. Then we can make audience enjoy. So I think uh, if we uh, present the raga in a proper way, like every raga has its own personality. And if we And I think uh, the anat portion is very important in today's time because everybody needs peace in the in mind and heart. See, our body can dance on any tune, but for getting you know to, for the peace, we need uh, uh, very uh, composed mind and composed body. So, uh, if even if we play anat for uh, longer duration, I think audience will enjoy.
Well, the, the message, message in short, I can say that this is my, this will be my first trip to China, and I'm really looking forward because I've heard about this beautiful country a lot. Coming back to music, music is something to feel, uh, enjoy, and uh, that's the best thing in music. It doesn't have any religion, it doesn't have any caste. Anybody can understand after the concert when we get the appreciation and applause. That doesn't have any language. We understand just one language, which is the uh, appreciation and a sound of your clap and positivity. So that is the best thing, and I would like to uh, especially say to all, everybody, every human being in this world, that if somebody doesn't have music, and somebody says that I don't like music, that is wrong because what we speak is the sur pitch, and the heartbeat is a rhythm. So if somebody is without this two element. It cannot be alive. So add some music in life because without music, life is incomplete. Uh, in each music across the book, we have seven notes. Be it Indian music or any kind of music, seven notes are similar. Only thing we name is different. Like, sorry, we call it sorry. Now, my father is in West Bengal, do we make fun? Or C sharp, D sharp, C D E, we make like that. And uh, so music actually doesn't need any uh, language. Music itself is a language, and it can bridge the people. It, it can bridge the uh, uh, various uh, culture of the uh, of, uh, in the world. And I think uh, uh, music is the best thing to have happened to the mankind. I would love to do it because this we all students of uh, Pandit Hari Prasad Chaurasi have learned in life that he has not left any kind of genre, any musician, any musician. Because I personally think that there's always something to learn from somebody. If I'm playing tomorrow with a Chinese uh, musician or a rock guitarist or whatever, then again, as he mentioned, Rupa Bhai mentioned, there's seven notes, twelve notes only in the universe. So there's something to learn from somebody, and then I try to incorporate in my classical genre because that phrase has never played before or not sung before by from anyone. So there's something as the life of the journey is life about learning, and somebody is open-minded doing it. I can say about flute that is one instrument uh, every corner of the city in this world have it. You call it, we call it bansuri, venu, flute. As again, silver flute. We have bamboo flute. We have nail. We have Chinese flute. We have recorder. We have shakuhachi. So people know what is this instrument. It sounds different. The playing style is different. In fact, I myself, I was traveling to Asia and I bought a Chinese flute. I liked it the way it was designed, the black and the golden ribbon and in written Chinese. And in between, there was a hole and it was covered by rice paper. So it has that amazing ethnic nasal sound. I have used in the recording sessions also. So I would love to collaborate with them, any kind of. Uh, and the flute is such an instrument; it gels so well with any genre of music and with anybody. Yeah, I mean, I enjoy uh, you know playing with other musicians and other kind of music also uh, because uh, uh, the Indian few of the Indian ragas. Have come out from the folk music, so that's why in some uh, folk music from India, uh, rhythm was like uh, Chinese uh, Chinese to, uh, folk music, like because they have particular scale, five five notes, so like Bhupali or Durga or Sarang, something like that. So uh, as I know these kind of music, so I I am quite easily adapted to the other kind of music because we can gel uh, mentally also because. We should uh, enjoy from our side more than the other musician can enjoy with us. And I definitely would like to uh, collaborate with the other Chinese musicians. I have only known about the four W, which is unpredictable, like wine, wealth, woman, and weather. But this four W is uh, quite musical. Well, I will choose when. Because uh, for an artist, I can 
talked about every every artist will never keep in mind and perform that why i'm performing so i will try to give my 100% it can be sometimes lesser money or more money or the mood is not very good or some some you know bad mouth with organizer or something or the other happens that's okay but when the artist go on stage everything goes back then he interact with his audience and he try to give best but personally i say when it happen the good music or whatever when you are some with someone with whom you are playing with whom you are sharing the stage if he or she is familiar with your music and the kind of coordination with two musician or your best accompanist is playing with you and the accompanist has a very big role because he gets the best out of you so i i look for when you know when that moment is there i know i am going to be the best i choose wonderful the because uh, because he is always wonderful no. <laughs> uh, see the uh, the scenario when the curtain opens and when you have full house then it's so wonderful because every artist is craving for that a full house of course rapid by just said that the money doesn't matter that time when we are on stage only me and my audience and the first mode the sa which we play if that happens perfectly as per my wish it is wonderful and it doesn't happen then wonders <laughs> wonders <laughs> why <laughs> why happy, happy birthday, birthday to theta young. young stay young healthy and always have a full house and we we'll really look forward to be there and perform for you people in such a i've seen the photograph it's really beautiful really looking forward and we we'll want to have positive vibes with you and want to perform again and again thank you thank you